Hello, I'm Peter Bartl. I'm here at Neusiedlersee in Bodersdorf. Stand-up paddling is a sport you can make over the whole season, also in Austria, but it's very important to have the right safety, to have the right stuff, to be safe with stand-up paddling. And I give you also 10 potential essential tips for your own stand-up paddle career to go faster and safer. Normally we use a leash when we are paddling at seaside or at lakes. A leash can save your life. So be open to use a leash and for stand-up paddling in flat water conditions always use a core leash because with the core leash you don't have a drag in the water. I use my leash in combination with the belt. I have the possibility to be free with the hands and with the feet. And if I want to open the leash, I can open it with one hand, even when I'm paddling. Think about to use a life vest. I know that many people, most of the people, they are paddling without the life vest. If they know what they do, I think it's okay. But if you're not sure, take a life vest. And what should be clear, if you are on white water, on flowing water, always use a life vest. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on the water. I think we have forgotten something. With a fin, stand-up paddling works much better. Always use a fin with a rack with about 45 degrees. So you have no problems with seagrass or plastic or something floating in the water. For the right clothing in stand-up paddling, there is one rule, you never ride. It's always a compromise between the best functional clothing. If it's cold outside and you're falling in the water more and more times, take a neoprene. With a neoprene you are warm in the water, you are also warm out of the water. If you are on a training run and you know normally you don't fall in, but you're not safe, take for sure a dry suit. Normally a good dry suit is also breathable. If it's hot outside, warm water, warm air, normally you only need a short, a lycra, and if the sun burns you, you can use a cap. Now I have some essential tips for going fast on the water. Always use your core muscles while paddling. The strength is coming out of the core muscles. Try to bring your paddle smooth into the water and take it out also smooth. It's very important that you don't hit the water because otherwise you get double lenses and that makes you slow. Reach is necessary, but don't make too much of it. Go natural in the water and then you have a good power phase and a good battle stroke. Your battle plate goes in the water in a 90 degree angle. Try to be aware of it. Train the change of your paddle sides. This makes you fast and safe while paddling. While standing on the board, bend your knees only lightly and hold this position while paddling. Keep your board flat and hold the balance on your board. If you want to steer your race board, Put your weight on one side and the board will go on the other. Learn to move on the board like an Indian moves on the ground. Try to be on the middle line of your board. If you're a professional, you make this with a cross step. As you want to make a buoy turn, try to use the so-called 
crossbow turn. This is the most effective and easiest way to make a good turn. most effective but also trickiest way to make a turn is the so-called pivot turn it's an offset turn you go back on the board in a surf stance and make a bow stroke choose your own pace and stay in your own skills so have a good time while stand up paddling see you on the water ciao